So here is the rear section of the die cycle. And I've been racking my brain on how to make this rear suspension actually articulate up and down without having to cut this out. But I'm going to have to cut it out anyways. But wait, here's my thought. Instead of just cutting it out, what if I move the mounting for the rear swing arm to this tube area, essentially moving it back to here and making it pivot here instead of here. I think that's going to work a whole lot better and I think it'll actually fit a lot better that way too. So it looks like we're gonna be hacking away at it one more time. Okay, so fast forward a little bit and I have disassembled the die cycle and put it on braces so it can hold up. And it looks like I'm gonna be able to just like cut a little pocket out instead of cutting the whole thing out. And that way it'll kind of, uh, it'll like fit in there like a, like a tailgate kind of. It's just getting longer and longer, isn't it? <laughs>
Well, we finally got it mounted. It's uh, where I want it. I had to cut out more than I wanted to, but we are going to have to do some reinforcing. So this area here, the little triangle, I'm going to have to make a hole and then we're going to put a insert in, a pipe insert, so that the chain can pass through. And then we're just going to brace this all the way across with some new tubing. And uh, yeah, we're getting there. It's definitely uh, starting to take shape, even though I know it looks a little scary but it's getting there it's really getting there now we just have to figure out how we want our shock to mount and we'll be starting to get somewhere real soon. Class of 2000. Oh look, it's me.